American success. CNBC's third annual Executive Leadership Awards were held in New York City last night. Who's that? Oh, yeah. Vera Wang, everybody. Vera Wang. <laughs> Where hundreds of CEOs and top executives came out to celebrate corporate America's best. I was the red carpet reporter there. Oh, yes. Had a great time. CNBC's Melissa Lee is here now with more on the story. What a wild event. It was event. fun. It was great. a great night, great night. The ELA dinner uh, honored five top executives, true leaders in the business world, as well as one of the most influential central bankers in history. Of course, former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award for his historic 19-year tenure. To thunderous applause and a standing ovation, one of the most influential central bankers in the world, former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan, accepted the Lifetime Achievement Award at CNBC's third annual Executive Leadership Awards for steering the economy Just and the stock market through some of their darkest days and even offering guidance now on the anniversary of his retirement. And I suspect watching the last year with uh, Ben Bernanke coming into something which as I can tell you, it's not an easy job the first year coming off spectacularly well. It was a 19-year tenure for the chairman who inspired CEOs of all walks. You can always look back and say, well, those years were favorable, whatever, but he was there every year. He took, a, he took an aggressive representation position, and, you know, and he turns out to be, uh, you know, right, basically, most of all the time he was there. Greenspan was the voice of calm, and sometimes a man of mystery, last night actually dispelling one of the greatest intrigues of his tenure, the briefcase indicator and how it once failed. My wife put a very large piece of chocolate cake in with my lunch pack <laughs> and knocked off billions of dollars of the nation's net worth. In addition to Greenspan, five top executives will take home an award like this in front of an audience of 400. It was a who's who list of American business that gathered to honor those who have innovated, inspired, and championed the shareholder, from legendary Wall Street deal makers like Joseph Perella to CEOs, including William Hickey, CEO of Sealed Air. And this is really a night to celebrate what's great about business, uh, great ideas, and, and great innovation. And that's really why we, we put this night on every year to really celebrate what's happening in the, in the world of business. This year's CNBC ELA award winners, William Weldon, CEO of Johnson & Johnson for business practices. Herb Kelleher, chairman of Southwest Airlines. Well, I guess the question, since you're getting the award, can you pronounce it? Entrepa, uh, uh, ner, ner, nur, il. Oh, here's the big question. Can you spell it? <laughs> no way. <laughs> George David, CEO of United Technologies for Human Capital Practices. Sally Krawcheck, Citigroup's head of global wealth management, and Eric Schmidt of Google for innovation. A way to honor the leaders who've inspired others to strive for the best. And